is someone who we're doing it all for. And an example, a shining example of that is my good friend I'm going to introduce you to you today, Myrna Oriana Katke. Um, when I first met Myrna, she had, her family had just moved here fleeing political persecution in El Salvador and she was about as tall as some of the little girls sitting in the front seat, front row here. Um, nevertheless, she represents the best of what we have to offer as a state and what government is all about. Uh, number one, her family was able to come here, become citizens, uh, register to vote, and uh, in, enjoy uh, political freedoms that they did not enjoy in the country that they left. Number two, she got an excellent education right here in Spokane, Washington, getting her occupational therapy degree at Eastern Washington University. Now she's going on to get a master's in public administration. Number three, and most important, she and her husband Chris, and he's a teacher, went over to the west side and worked for a while, but guess what? They came back to Spokane, found good jobs. They're already contributing to our community. They've already uh, been foster parents. They're going to contribute to, to raising a new generation of healthy, happy, educated kids right here in Spokane. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Myrna Katke. privilege to be here today. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, when I came to Spokane, my family and I came almost 25 years ago, and we were immediately embraced by uh, not only the community of St. Anne's Church, but the community of Spokane. Um, I was able to attend the wonderful public school system here in Spokane and went on to receive an academic scholarship to Eastern and graduated my bachelor's degree in 2003. Um, I went to Seattle for a short stay and decided to come back with my husband and um, I will be graduating with my master's degree this summer, so I'm very excited. <laughs> in, in fact, I was able to attend the new uh, buildings here at River Point and that's where I currently attend my classes, so I am definitely benefiting from all the wonderful things that Governor Gregoire has done. Um, I chose occupational therapy because I wanted to pursue a career in healthcare, and by being able to provide therapy services and rehab was a way for me to give back to this wonderful community of Spokane. And I look at Governor Gregoire as a true inspiration. She was the first in her family to attend college. Following her dreams, she got her law degree, and with hard work and determination, she strived to, to lead a successful career. And thanks to people like Governor Gregoire, others like myself can attend a great education here in Washington State and open doors to various career paths and career choices. She's a true inspiration for not only my generation, but for future generations to come. As my husband and I are expecting our first child, I think about Spokane is just a wonderful place to raise a family. But Washington State is a great place for a child or any other student to follow their dreams and become whatever they, they desire. So uh, that's why we need to re-elect our Governor Gregoire and continue on this path. So with great pleasure, please join me in welcoming Governor Chris Gregoire. 